My name is David Pigram. I'm a singer-songwriter from Broome in uh, Western Australia. I was interested in music from an early age, um, just listening to my, my uncles and uh, family at family gatherings and around the campfire. When I got my first guitar, I think I must have been, in year six, I got my first one from Dad. He used to put, put things together from bits and pieces that were laying around, or he used to go down to the local rubbish tip and um, see things thrown out and he'd, he'd re renovate them. I joined the band Scrap Metal then, back in 92. Uh, we did one album called Pub Sweat and Tears. In 1994-95, we changed our name to the Pigram Brothers. In yeah, 97, we had the Saltwater Country album, was our first one, and we did three albums. Um, the next one was called Jir in 2001. The last one we did was called Under the Mango Tree. But when I play, and on my own, I'm um, using acoustic guitar, ukulele, and, um, and mouth organ. So my type of music we call uh, saltwater music. It's a bit of a um, mix between uh, country folk and blues. It's our own style that, that's been developed from all our different influences over time. The inspiration for Kids of Yesterday, the song, first song I wrote, was just all about early days growing up in Broome in uh, probably the late 60s, early 70s. And for me, we used to go hunting across the road with my brothers and we used to have our little little gangs that we take off and go out, go out for the day on the weekends um, to spend time and amuse ourselves with. With the kids of yesterday. Capricorn rain, um, we were around my dad's place um, and it had been raining for like mainly f 20 days. I remember um, went around to dad's and I had this little guitar um, that, he, that he made. With, they had a, had a few different strings on it. He had about eight strings, I think. He, he was he was trialing it, and it had this nice tone to it. And I was just fiddling with it, and this, then that's how the tune came out. Where the river runs at Granny's yard, the wet set in for another year. There's a cricket match on for young and old. The wicket's fast as the rain comes down. Send down the rain, green up the land. Send down. Desert Wind uh, um, is a, a mix. It is a mixture of influences. One of the main ones was from when I first went overseas. Seas on the big, big Boeing 747, and uh, I was way up high and just looking down on the, on the fluffy whites. And I, that was where the first line sort of comes from. And uh, decided to th picture myself as an eagle. I also had a dream. So I entwined all this into, I was dreaming that I was flying in, um, on a unicycle. And I started, as I paddled harder, I lifted up.
unicycle drifting off the ground hear the old man coughing as I rise into the air I can see the country burning along the salty shores horizontal dreaming now the land is bare Ride the desert wind Ride him up on high Above the fluffy white Now in the wedge tail's eye Yes, so Bullfrog Hole is another song. My brother and I, Colin, uh, was in Derby for a country in Western festival and uh, we started reflecting on the old days growing up with dad um, he used to take us bush we remember all these uh, little frogs and we used to use them for, use them for bait dad showed us how to flick the sand into the water and then they'd come swimming back and we used that for bait and we used to catch catch the fish some of the words were written about things that dad told us but also a lot of the things that we saw and experienced. A long tall grass is turning brown. A raging river slowed right down. Just a trickle in the sand. Take me back to the rich in the country Where the nights are so cold And the wild dingoes call Yeah, not a care in the world The Old Man from the Bush is written about the same time of the year. So, um, it's a cold time, I'm sitting around the fire this inspiration came from my wife's grandfather um, who, who had passed away um, and I was sitting around the campfire and I just felt his um, spirit come through the, through the fire. The words just came to me about him telling me about the old stories and the old ways um, and how, the, how it used to be and everyone had a had their purpose and their rights and responsibilities and and we're proud proud and and uh, strong so I was sort of um, trying to get the message across that we needed to get back to country get back to our culture to revive our spirit and don't want to wallow in me just live off the land and hunt on the sea Living on the edge of the driving rain Take me back to my country once again Old man from the bush Take me back to my homeland Where the waters are so clean And the birds fill the air with salty song So Going Back Home is um, it's probably one of our most famous songs. It's written by um, Stephen. It's about missing home and missing mum's cooking and, um, and all the things that we miss while we're away from home, um, hunting and fishing and um, family, and mainly it's family and country, and um, yeah, just all the things that you used to growing up in your in your hometown. And I feel like going back home. Right now, while the garbage is ripe, the jiggle tree is starting to bloom, and 
and they get it starting to bite. Hey, mom, I can just taste your fish soup and rice. I'm coming back home to you. Can hack the pace of the city life. Soon I'll be dreaming in broom. Soon I'll be dreaming in broom. I'd rather be dreaming in broom under the mango tree. Rather be dreaming in broom away from Louis. I'd rather be dreaming in broom. Um, hopefully, all my experiences that I that I've had and still having, I'll be able to um, put them in song because I think I think music is a universal language that um, that everyone uh, enjoys, um, and if you can provide that and keep many people happy, then I think I think it's a good thing.